this is Bees Arts and Crafts. Today we're going to be making something a bit groovy. I don't know if you can tell anything different about me today. Well, yes, it's my glasses. Oh, I've made some proper nice Mrs. Bee glasses. I've got a bumblebee and what do bees like? Flowers. I thought I'd put some them on. Now I'm going to show you today how to make some glasses for you as well. So let's get on with it. Okay, first thing you're going to need is a cardboard tube. I need to paint the inside of the tube. I've done it already on two of these, but I'm going to show you how to do it on this one. I only get a little bit of paint on your brush because you want the tube to dry as quick as possible so you can get making your glasses. And the paint does soak into the tube so it should dry pretty quickly. Don't worry about getting paint on the outside of the tube because we're going to cover that anyway. But you'll see why you need to paint inside as we get going. Now my glasses I use some tape to cover them so if you've got some nice pretty washi tape you can use that instead of using paint or paper as I'm going to use in a second or you can paint the whole of your tube inside and out two different colours if you wanted to and then you could cut it up when it's dry to make your glasses now if you're like me you'll probably get paint all over yourself so you're going to need to wipe your hands before you carry on Check my tube is painted all the way through. Yep, that's okay. Just leave that to dry. I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't need that anymore. Got some trusty kitchen towel. Just wipe my hands so I don't get it all over. Right, I'm going to leave that one to dry and I'm going to do a different one. So I'm going to use the red one, I think. Now, once it's dry, we need to just press the tube down so it's flatter and then draw four lines so you can see where you need to cut okay now with this bit you cut up and stop okay this is the same and this one you turn round and cut up and stop and cut up and stop okay now this one in the middle you want to cut across just that middle one to there Put it through there we go I'll leave that bit hanging back you'll see why I do that in a minute and then these two end ones you can cut off now it's always easier to leave them to cut off at the end okay that's your cutting done just wait for the time being now what you need to do is flatten that out and push that down and that is the rims of your glasses. Now this bit you can wrap round and just glue down with a bit of glue. You see why now that I've painted the inside of the tube because otherwise you would have the cardboard showing and with very nice glasses so if you colour them in you can also use colouring pencils or felt tips you don't need to use paint I just thought paint's quicker for coverage. And then you get these ones. Now these ones are going to be the arms of your glasses. Okay, like that. And then you want to stick those on that. We'll make sure you do it. I think I'll have them. Yeah, that's the back. So I'll stick them like that. But I'll do that in a second. What I want to do first is decorate this part because we don't really want to see the cardboard tubing. So I've got some stripy paper I can cut into strips. I just want it about the same as that, so I'm going to cut it to that turquoise strip there. Like I say, if you wanted to paint both uh, the inside and the out, you wouldn't need to decorate it, but I just wanted them to look a bit different, so I've gone for some nice paper. And into that one. OK, 
Okay, now to make it easier to stick round, I'm going to use a glue stick. I'm going to glue the whole length, even though I might not need it all, just so that I can wrap it round if I need to more than once, because you can. Okay, and then just go round the outside of your tube like this. It might meet a bit in the middle with that overlap, but that's fine. There you are, you see? And then you can just go round it again. So that's that part. It will bend into shape as well after you've finished. So don't worry about that. Cut the white bits off because I've got the white on the edge of my paper. Like I say, you can paint it, you can put sequins on them, jazz them up like I did with some flowers. Boys, you might want to put sharks on, use some dinosaurs, whatever you want to put on the top of them, it's absolutely fine. Right, so there are your glasses. You can see them come into a bit of shape now. Now, because these are going to be seen in the back as well, I'm going to also cut some strips for these bits as well. So again, just measure it. I thought straps was nice and easy because you can judge it a bit better. I'll do the same one again, so I'll do that. that. And put that. And that. They're super easy to make and so quick. One of my other videos, I made some binoculars, so this is just doing something a little bit different again with a paper roll. Some funky glasses instead. Right, let's get rid of that paper. Wipe my hands again from the glue. Get rid of the excess bits, we don't need that anymore. Stick my lid on. And then we're going to think about this bit. Now, if like me, you want it to sit on your nose, neater you might need to cut a little triangle in once you've done it so i'm going to do that now if you can't do that ask a grown-up to do it for you because it is a bit hard once you've wrapped that paper roll around the middle okay and there is your little cut okay then you need to just put the arms on now depending on what side you want you might want the stripy side or your pattern side or you might want your plain side because either way, you're going to be seeing both sides. I'm going to have the stripy side out. Now, because the one side needs to go around your ear, what you want to do is fold the end like that. So you've got a little loop to sit on your ear. And do the same with the other one as well. So I'm going to have that one that way. So I want that one. I'm going to fold this side. Like that. Okay, and then you just need to stick them on. So you can either use tape or glue. Um, I would probably use sala tape, but because I'm doing it quick for you, I'm just going to use glue stick. It's just that the tape will probably hold it in place. You can either you can always glue it actually, and then tape it again as well. So there's one side. And I'll just glue the other side, like so. And then even once you've put your pattern on and you've got it decorated, you could still always go around with some gems like I did. You could put flowers on the top.
So there you go, there's your glasses. Hope you've enjoyed making them with Mrs B. I'll see you soon, take care.